What made you get into music? I mean, what, what got you into music? Boy, that's a good question. <laughs> my mother was always musical, my uncle was very musical. And I uh, saw the movie The Blues Brothers when it came out back in the early 80s, and it, I just thought that was pretty cool. I'd like something fun to do. What significance um, does Jimi Hendrix have in your musical career? or how, What kind of role did he play, and how did he possibly influence the way you developed? I don't really feel like Jimmy probably influenced me per se. Uh, I know that he influenced Gary a whole lot, which uh, Gary's had a tremendous impact on probably the way I developed stylistically over the years. When Gary first joined the band, he brought a, a different energy to the to the game for us, and uh, a lot of you know adding some Hendrix covers in along with our originals. I always thought that we had, as the years progressed, we kind of had our own interpretations of some of these songs and you know there's no way that you're going to try to break new ground or do something better than a legend like Jimi Hendrix did but uh, to our fans and hopefully Hendrix fans you know around the world that hopefully will get to view this you know we hope we had a chance to maybe offer them something you know fresh just a fresh take on on the music the energy and the, the charisma that he that he sells from the stage that's really him you know he's like a little kid on Christmas morning when he's 12 every time he gets to pick up his guitar and, and have him done it so many years it's never changed and you know that energy can't help but spill over to the rest of us. You know, and there's never a night in eight years that we've been on stage together consistently that he doesn't do something that just spins my head around. And that's fun. So it's like it's like uh, something new every time. Well, I'd say a song that probably had the most impact on me that night, especially going back and listening to the tape and everything, as we've put this project together, was Voodoo Child. Uh, I just feel like the band really kind of about halfway through the show it's really harnessed some some really raw energy it had a lot of different movements through it from being just kind of raw and rock and roll to some funk aspects and uh, i just I felt like it was really alive it's a high it's a it's one of the it's one of the uh, you know honestly next to probably next to sex it's one of the best feelings that you can have when you're with a group of guys and you're making music and you guys all hit a stride and it just kind of becomes magic and it feels like you're just floating probably about six inches off the ground and I've never really had anything else that's ever really made me feel that way than when the band's hitting on all cylinders it's amazing and it generally on really good nights you know it goes to the crowd too it's funny I kind of get goosebumps now thinking about it <laughs>